Hi, I'm Wendy Lawrence, a space shuttle astronaut. As you can see, I'm standing in front of the orbiter Atlantis, my spaceship on my second mission, STS-86. Boy, was she a great spacecraft. I still remember our launch night, trying to leave the planet from the state of Florida. Typical Florida weather, lots of lightning off the coast. As we were in the Silver Astro van making our way out to the launch pad, I swear it was raining sideways. So as I climbed through that side hatch on launch night, I really wasn't convinced that we were gonna have our opportunity to leave that planet. But hey, it's Florida. Weather clears up before you know it. The sky's cleared. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Off we roared. I'll tell you, that was my second time riding the rocket and it was just as exciting as my first. You're lying on your back and all that acceleration goes right through your chest. So you swear, somebody just sat down on your chest as hard as they possibly could. It's really difficult to take a full breath. It's almost impossible to take your arm and hold it out in front of you. But Atlantis, she was designed to be in space, so she delivered us there flawlessly after eight and a half minutes. We got up into orbit, and in our mission, we were gonna go to the space station Mir, the Russian-built space station Mir, and exchange some NASA astronauts who were living there for months at a time. That was my first opportunity to actually rendezvous with another space station, and it was really quite an amazing experience. I felt like I was a pioneer in a covered wagon, traveling for days and days and days without seeing another human, and then suddenly you started to see signs of civilization. And it was like that when we rendezvoused with Mir. Slowly but surely, that really bright point of light became bigger and bigger, and we could make out the modules on board Mir and the solar rays as well. And before we knew it, we were docked, hatches open, hugging the Russian cosmonauts and NASA astronaut Mike Foll on board. We'd finally found other people who were up in space with us.